is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a wwe elite series 101 2 in 1 review on mr america also known as hulk hogan in some circles and of course the brand new sonya deville which could be a early contender for the wwe women's figure of the year of 2023 man it looks fantastic but i'm excited for both of these i have my gripes about hulk hogan or mr america this sonya deville when we first saw it not gonna lie to you brad it, it looks pretty much perfect i I mean, I, I don't want to get ridiculous. We don't have it in hand. I don't have it out of the packaging. I can't make that assumption just yet, but things are pointing up, and it's going to be an interesting dive into these figures. I can't wait to get into it, man. With that being said, I'm not sure if these are available on Ringside Collectibles. They might be. Go over there. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Check out if they're up for pre-order. You can find that info down in the comment section below, but here's Mr. America in all of his glory right there, representing with old glory. Here he is. He's got interchangeable head sculpts. He is the chase variant in this set and the chase variant isn't that crazy in this one you know he's got like the captain america-esque mask style going on in this one this is not the chase this is your regular edition and then we do have the sonya deville which is a pretty damn good figure man i'm enjoying it you got all the black gear in here i i'm loving it man you got sonya deville there just a fantastic looking figure so far man definitely better than her other elite i think but let's crack them out of the packaging find out what they're all about put them on the rotating base and review these figures all right guys so here's mr america and sonya deville out of the packaging i'm liking what i'm seeing so far of course we do have our issues with formulas and skin tones and things of that nature we've been over it multiple times of course that should be a change of pace in the year of 2023 at least that's what we've been told what's going to be really bummy is if they go to re-releasing all the hulk hogan's we've already gotten in this style and then they just re-release them with the updated body and skin tone which i could see them doing that because people are going to absolutely purchase them they're going to buy it the more i think about it the more i kind of want them to do that nonetheless both of these figures do look good so far but we are going to run through sonya deville's accessories and then we'll get into sonya deville herself and then we'll take a closer look at mr america's accessories and mr america all right man so getting into sonya deville's accessories man she has just a couple interchangeable hands and then she has this beautiful jacket right here and i say this is very high quality man i mean it kind of reminds me of the mesh jeff hardy shirt we got now it's not mesh okay but it does have like these little belts and stuff like that so you have this like black belt that comes around you have the black belt that goes around the cuffs here or the biceps and it looks like it has little chains on it or not chains but little belt loop kind of deals fits the figure really well as you guys saw but it's got velcro in the front as well so you can you know you can fasten it i don't know if i've ever said fasten here on the channel but there you go you got that and it looks really really good they did a great job on it fits the figure well that's all you can really ask for very satisfied with the cloth goods that comes with the sonya deville i knew it would be when we saw it in images but i think they did a pretty good job on it even if it's not like the most accurate of all accurate Accuracies. I think it's supposed to be like kind of like a blazer jacket or similar to it. I said that it, it, it gets the job done. I'm not going to be upset about that. And then outside of that, you do get the mic holding or C-grip hands here. You know, mic holding or weapon holding or whatever the hell you want to say. She's got the black gloves going. No sculpt or anything. They're kind of just painted on. And no nail polish. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I feel like she would have had black nail polish, but I'm not sure. And then the same thing for the fisted hands. No, you know, glove mold or anything. It's just painted on gloves for the fisted hands. And they get the job done again. No nail polish or anything thing but they're you know they're sonya deville they, you know fists fist to the face all right guys so getting into sonya deville at the top of the head sculpt i think it pretty much looks just identical to her i'm looking at the figure i'm looking at her on the back of the packaging i'm looking at her on the side of the packaging money looks just like her the makeup's nice the the hair is perfect like i think you've got a perfect likeness now it's the facial expression the best probably not but i think overall it still looks just like her you know the hair sculpt i think they, yeah, they nailed it i think it looks just like sonya deville and she needed an updated figure it's been a really long time i think it was what like elite 64 collector's edition or elite 69 collector's edition so been a long time we've gotten some basics here and there but this one's easily the best sonya deville ever made you got double jointed arms she's got all of her tattoo work which i think this is uh, this is her definite first elite that has all of these tattoos on it if i'm not mistaken but all of her tattoo detail here a little bit light work you know it's not like it doesn't stand out a lot but at the same time i guess it's pretty accurate you have all of her butterfly tattoos and stuff very nicely sculpted top here which i do think is new she's got like those belt loops coming up the top here i don't like that her belly button showing right there because i don't think that's accurate but i guess it's not the biggest deal in the world it's covered up by the you know the darkness of the paint but you have this belt that's sculpted on the lower part of the stomach which is a very nice touch it doesn't move or anything so that's good you got your glossy blacks and your matte blacks and grays just very 
cool, man. She even has the continued gloves here on the on the wrists and the hands. I like this figure a lot, man. I think it looks just like her. You got the pegs in the legs, ball joints, moves around well. She then has the solid black boots here, which I do believe are a new sculpt. These look to be newly sculpted boots. Just overall, a very good women's figure. Like, just moves around fantastic. I don't think you'd ever have any issues, you know, posing her around. Like, the ab crunch in the women's figures is what it is, but legs move around great. She's on ball joints again. She's got upper thigh cut. You get the boot. Like, she can kick forward really, really well. I mean, dude, what a what a fantastic piece. The shoulders do not get stuck, which is just beautiful. You know, it's been seven series since the Elite 94 stuff, but maybe they fixed that. I don't know, but, like, I don't have any issues with my shoulders. Head sculpts looks good. I mean, I, I don't have any complaints whatsoever about the Sonya Deville figure. I can pick out something. It's hard to find something, you know? I just I just like the figure a lot. It feels good in the hand and all that, but let's get into some Sonya Deville figure comparisons. So for your Sonya Deville figure comparisons, here's a basic Sonya Deville that I got forever ago. And again, yeah, she doesn't have all those tattoos she, she has on this one over here, whether that's accurate or not. This head sculpt and figure is not terrible, but this one just blows it out of the water. This one right here could beat this one's ass. You know what I'm saying? This one doesn't have near the articulation, the details, the true effects. Well, it does have true effects. It just doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It's not updated, you know what I mean? So, I'm digging it. I like the Sonya Deville. Great figure overall. It can beat all the ass. You know, can it beat my ass in my sleep, though? Like Ronda Rousey Ultimate Edition? I don't know, Brad. Pretty damn gum good. Moves around pretty well. But that does a very Sonya Deville figure comparison. Alright, guys, so we're getting into Mr. America's accessories. You get a whole pot look, right? You get two interchangeable head sculpts. You get some cloth goods. You get some boas. You, I mean, you get a lot. Similar to what we got with the Elite 91 Hogan. Kind of the same deal, you know, trying to any kind of a repaint deal kind of going on. You get a little bit more there. However, starting off with the cloth goods, you do get the Mr. America shirt, which I saw somebody, I think it was my boy Cody Steinsenberg Customs, put on this shirt onto his Elite 101 coat. And it kind of looked kind of fire, so maybe you know, maybe you want to play around with that. But it's got the rips in the back. It is a white shirt. We've seen this before. It says Mr. America. I haven't seen the Mr. America before, but I'm pretty sure we've seen this shirt before. But it said Hulkamania on it. But it does have the Velcro on the front for you to rip it in half. I think it would be cool to get this shirt without the Velcro, or at least not the Velcro on the front. But I think Steve said that that's not something they're going to do at the moment, or I, I believe he said that. I could be wrong, but nonetheless, the Mr. America shirt does look good. Outside of that, you also get his Mr. America weight belt. Now this is just, dude. Like, the weight belt is just so garbage, man. When you compare it again, we compared it to the Jazzwares one yesterday, or in the Cody review. This one is just not as good. It's wider. It's got, you know, the stitch detail and stuff, but it's missing the buckle. It's missing the strap, like the little belt loop on there. And it just looks terrible when you when you clasp it like this. You loop it in the front, and it just looks crazy, dude. Like, I don't know, but the graphic looks cool. I don't know if it's accurate or not. I'm sure some Hulk Hogan connoisseurs will let me know, but it's got the star, Mr. America. I do believe this was airbrushed, just like his mini tights designs and things like that so got the mr america got the stitching detail still uh still the same mold we've seen this mold for like a decade now i don't know if it's been a decade but we get another boa we've seen these multiple times but it is you know the red white and blue it's got the white the blue the red and then the blue kind of weird how it just kind of goes from you know kind of cuts off but when you have him wearing it it kind of works you know it's not like tie-dye or anything i'm not big on these but i get you know they, for display purposes i think they get the job done but it's not my favorite accessory very very bulky you know kind of gets in the way a little bit but I still like it. Maybe one day we'll get cloth good style boas. Now, one of the cool things about this figure is it does have... Okay, that's kind of weird right there. I ain't gonna lie to you. Look at that right there. Like this massive nose piece. You can't even see his nose covered up by this blue thing. It doesn't look like it has any true effects detail on there. But the eyes look to be like kind of that old style painted Mattel eyes. It's got the eyebrows on there. Star looks good. The mask sculpt isn't bad. Like it looks all good there. But when you get under the nose right there, that does look funny. Just how there's no nose sculpt or anything. It's just a blue triangle. But I guess from straight on, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's just something to know. Handlebar mustache looks good in there. I, you know, I like it. You got the blonde hair coming out of the back. I think it's a solid head sculpt. And then you have the interchangeable one, which is a brand new face sculpt. You have like the mask rolled up. Great wrinklage in here. I think it captures Hogan. I think the wrinkles look really good. My eyes are a bit like, I don't know, lopsided. Just a hair. Not horribly terrible. But you have the mustache. You have his facial expression in there. Kind of looks like the Elite 96 Hogan, except with a mask put over the top. Except for the, the skin tone's not accurate to the Elite 96, but he's got the wrinkles in there and the mask is pulled up. You got the oh snap! Look at that. It's even got a little bit of wiggle room right there. Look at that right there. Look, it folds up. I did not expect that. That is actually really impressive. Wow. Okay, you can't take it all the way off, but that's pretty cool. I didn't expect that. But the stars on there, it's wrinkled up. That's damn nice. This is actually a better head sculpt, I think. Like sculpt for sculpt, it's better. And then the paint apps are better. Like look at the eyes. These have true effect eyes. These do not. So you know you can tell the difference in the details. And then outside of that, you have Mike holding hands. You have the pump up the crowd. Hands shaking. Kawhi Leonard ricochet palm to ear style hands. And then instead of fists, they gave him the pointing finger.
fingers or the shush fingers for you to put up to the face of the mask for him to shush the crowd, you know, to say, you know, don't spoil it that I am Hulk Hogan or to point at people. I mean, you can use it for multiple things, but I think it's pretty creative. You can do the shush the crowd with this or you need multiple things. We have pointer fingers and a lot of different skin tones. All right, man, so getting into the Mr. America, starting out with the head sculpt. We covered the head sculpt a little bit, but it fits good on the figure. I think it looks well on here. You know, I think it gets the job done, the hair sticking out of the back and everything like that. Again, no true effects or anything, but it, again, it, it accomplishes the mission, I guess. But uh, the whole issue with the figure that a lot of people are going to have is the tan and the size of the torso and the ripped upness. They always give Hulk Hogan this tan and this torso for certain eras of Hulk Hogan, and they're not consistent with it at all. If it's not an 80s Hogan, they're going to give him this updated torso for some reason. And what's laughable about that is on the back of the packaging, you can literally see that it's inaccurate. Like, look at this tan, look at the size of the torso. It's supposed to be like the old man style, similar to his other figures that he has. I Like, it's just so funny how they're inconsistent about that. But you got that same, like, Damien Mizdow torso with the arms and the white wrist tape, which, you know what I'm saying. You put the accessories on there, it's not the end of the world, but it would definitely be a hell of a lot better if it was updated and accurate. Going down into the tights, same crotch mold, same legs that we've seen over the years. You got the star on there. My one left leg was a little bit warped, but he's got the one star and blue knee pad, and then he's got the flag going around with the stars and stripes, which is pretty good. Then he gets into the eagle boots, which are very fire. You got the airbrushed eagle and flames and light blue detail. You even have the eyes down there, which are really cool. Hulk Hogan has some of the best boots you've ever seen, man, especially the airbrushed ones, but they all look good on here, and I don't know. I don't think the figure is setting the world on fire with everything about it, but I think at the end of the day, it is cool that we're getting a Mr. America. You know, I'm all for the Ruthless Aggression era. Now, for the last few Hulk Hogan releases that are on this torso and this skin tone, you have the ringside exclusive NWO Hogan. You have the Elite 91 Hogan with all of his accessories on there. And then you do have the WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 18 Hogan. And I did switch the boost on this one to make like an ultimate version of WrestleMania 18 Hogan. So that's why he doesn't have the right boots on there, but it's the same figure. I mean, it's just a repaint basically, right? They keep repainting and redecoing this guy, giving him, you know, a new, not a lot of differences in there. And hopefully this new torso and this new tan that they're going to be giving him is really going to send him over the top because all of these figures right here would benefit from this tan and this style torso that you get on the Elite 96. And this is my Elite 96 boxing crazy eyes Hogan. I put the boxing gloves on there and never took them off. I just like the way it looks. All right, leave me alone. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Hulk Hogan Elite figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our two in one Mr. America and Sonya Deville Elite Series 101 review. I like the figures a lot. You know, Mr. America, say what you will. We knew we'd get this iteration. You know, I think it's cool that Mattel tried this iteration. I know a lot of Hulk Hogan fans are going to want this iteration on their shelf. I think, you know, it's, it is what it is. I don't like the formula. You know, we've been over that. It's, it's not the accurate skin tone. It's not the accurate muscle build or torso. It's not the right weight belt, man. I mean, we even saw that with Cody Rhodes. We got two of those bummy weight belts in this set. I think the Jazz wears AEW belt looks way better on the Cody figure. I know this isn't the Cody review, but go check that review out. That belt's just laughably bad. It really is. Like now, like when you put it in perspective, man, it just doesn't look good, man. They need to fix it. They got to add the buckle, add the strap. I mean, there's a lot of things they need to do there, but I like the color palette of the Mr. America. I like the mask sculpt. I think it's a solid figure of a raw when you consider the formula. When you go back and consider the formula, like compared to other figures, I still like it. It could just be way, way better. You know what I mean? And then the Sonya Deville figure is perfect from head to toe, man. What a beautiful looking figure. I think that the head sculpt's phenomenal. The attire's great. I know it's not the most over the top, you know, but I still like the slick blacks they have on there. They have a glossy. They have a flat. The gloves. It looks like she has some new sculpts in there. You got the new boot mold. She moves phenomenally. She doesn't have a stuck shoulder. Cloth goods. I mean, it is great. Damn good women's figure. One of my favorite women's figures so far that we've seen this year. I know it's early on, but I think it's gonna it's gonna be up there, man. The, the top women's figures of the year. That one is uh, already an early contender. I think it's badass. Even though she's getting a SmackDown championship opportunity on Friday Night SmackDown, even though she got destroyed by Bianca Belair on Raw 30 makes zero sense, but well, I digress. Has nothing to do with has nothing to do with the review of the figure. I just like to think about it and say it. Nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. If you guys would like to pre-order these or grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I'm getting out of here. Lots of content coming this week, man. I have so I'm, I, my mind is exploding with all the stuff I got to get done. You're talking about surgeries. You're talking about the Royal Rumble stuff, news videos. I mean, there's so much stuff. Nonetheless, man, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down.